types of error error occurs because of parallax error calibration error zero error damage and limit of reading of measurements parallax error in correct sighting the measurements calibration error if the scale is not accurately drawn zero error if the device doesn't have a zero or is in correctly set to zero damage if the device is damaged or faulty limit of reading of the measurement device the measurement can only be as accurate as the smallest unit of measurement of this device of the device type of error gross error systematic error random error the error is defined as the difference between the true value of the variable and the value indicated by the instrument the static error may occur due to the number of reasons first one is gross error gross error mainly occurred due to the carelessness or lack of experience of a human being this covers human mistakes in readings recordings and calculating result this error also occurred due to incorrect adjustment of instruments this errors cannot be treated automatically these errors are also called as a personal errors next one is systematic error the systematic errors are mainly resulting due to the shortcoming of the instrument and the characteristics of the material used in the instrument such as a defective or worn parts aging effects environmental effects a constant uniform deviation of the operation of an instrument is known as systematic error it is classified into three types instrumental error environmental error observational error instrumental error shortcoming of the instruments these are because of the mechanical structure of the instruments for example friction in the bearing of various moving parts irregular spacing redu reduction in tension due to improper handling hysteresis gear backlash stretching of spring these errors can be avoided by selecting a proper instrument recognizing the effect of such errors and applying the proper correction factors and next one is misuse of instrument a good instrument is used in abnormal way gives a misleading of result poor initial adjustment improper zero setting using leads of higher resistance uh, it is called as a misuse of instruments another one is a loading effects loading effects due to improper way of using the instrument cause the serious error the best example of such loading effect error is connecting a calibrated voltmeter across the two points of high resistance circuit next one is environmental error these errors are occurred due to the conditions of external to the measuring instrument the various factors resulting these environment errors are temperature changes pressure changes thermal emf stray capacitance cross capacitance various methods used to reduce these errors are using the proper correction factors and using the information supplied by the manufacturer using the arrangements which will keep the surrounding conditions constant uh, the next one is observational error these errors are introduced by the observer there are many sources of observational errors such as parallax error while reading a meter uh, the next one is random error 
some errors will result still result though the systematic and instrumental errors are reduced or at least accounted for the causes of such errors are unknown and hence the errors are called random error these errors cannot determine mind in the ordinary process of taking the measurements these errors are generally due to accumulation of large number of small effects these errors are generally small hence these errors are of real concern only when the high degree of accuracy is required thank you